In this section of the second grade Join and Separate Equal Groups unit, students will model, create, and describe contextual multiplication situations in which equivalent sets of concrete objects are joined. Students will use groups of concrete objects, arrays, and number lines to model multiplication situations. Skip counting and repeated addition can also be used. When joining equal groups, students will experience scenarios that involve a known number of groups that contain an equal number of objects in each group. After joining the equal groups, students will determine an unknown total. Materials include linking cubes, counters, and the linking cubes number line. Concrete objects can be used to model and join equal size groups. Present a scenario such as Mr. Brown sees four trees with five apples on each tree. How many apples are there in all? This situation can be represented using cubes by placing five cubes on each of the four apple trees. Because each group contains an equal number of apples and five is an easy number to skip count by, skip counting can be used to efficiently join the equal groups of apples. 5, 10, 15, 20. 4 equal groups of 5 equals 20. There are 20 apples in all. Here's another scenario. Mr. Brown sees three clovers. Each clover has four leaves. How many leaves are there all together? The number of leaves in each group can be represented by placing four cubes in each of the three circles. Repeated addition can be used to join the equal groups. Because there are three equal groups, the clovers, and each group contains four leaves, we need to add four three times. Four plus four plus four equals 12. There are three groups of four, and that equals 12. There are 12 leaves all together. Arrays can be used to join equal size groups arranged in rows. Present a scenario such as Mr. Brown has three rows of desks. Each row contains four desks. How many desks does Mr. Brown have all together? There are three groups the rows of desks, and there are four desks in each group. Counters can be used to represent the situation. Repeated addition can then be used to join the equal groups. Four plus four plus four equals 12. Three rows of four desks equals 12 desks all together. Students are also responsible for creating a problem situation or a story problem when given a model, such as an array representing three equal groups of 10. For example, a student might write, the farmer has three rows of corn in his garden. He has 10 corn plants in each row. How many corn plants does the farmer have in all? Students should then create a description of the situation. Three equal rows of 10 corn plants equals 30 corn plants. The farmer has 30 corn plants in all. Equal groups can also be joined using linking cubes on a number line. Present a scenario such as, there are nine boxes in the drawer with two pins in each box. How many pins are there all together? Determine the known and unknown information. How many boxes or groups of pins do we have? Nine. How many pins are in each group? Two. How many pins are there all together? This is unknown. Use the linking cube number line to represent what is known, the number of groups and the number in each group to determine the unknown, the total amount of pins all together. Create a group of two linking cubes of the same color to represent one box of pins and place it on the number line. Model labeling this group as a jump of two. Continue creating 
joining equal groups, and labeling jumps of two until all nine boxes of pins have been represented. After the equal groups have been joined on the number line, students can determine how many pins there are all together. There are 18 pins because nine equal groups uh, or jumps of two equals 18 pins all together. Finally, students should create a pictorial representation of the equal groups they joined. Students should label the repeated addition with each jump and circle the numbers as they skip count to find the total. A common misconception is that some students think the word total in a problem always indicates addition, rather than recognizing that multiplication can be used to represent the joining of equal groups. When presented with a multiplication situation such as, there are three branches with five birds on each branch, how many total birds are there? Students will respond with, there are eight total birds, rather than joining equal groups for a total of 15 birds. To help overcome this misconception, students should use manipulatives to model the number and size of groups to determine the total. There are three branches and each branch has five birds. Using the model, we can see that there are three groups with five birds in each group, five, 10, 15, or we can use repeated addition, five plus five plus five equals 15. Three groups of five birds equals 15 birds. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Elementary Math Minutes. We hope you'll find these videos helpful and we look forward to you joining us next time. See you then.